Good morning YouTube world. Well it's the morning where I am. I'm in Dovey Bike Park. It's actually it's Saturday the 2nd of March I think. I've got my new bike here at the bike park. The press release went out yesterday I believe so th this should go out on Wednesday. Press release went out yesterday for the um, the deal that we've done with GT. So we'll be riding Continental GT. There's the bike. That's the frame. I was only managed to get a frame for the time being and um, everything was like super last minute. So I rode it yesterday for the first time. Very wet day here in Dovey, but it was good. And I'm gonna do some uh, vlogging of it today and see if I can get some follow cams and what have you. But yeah, there's the machine. Not fully sponsor friendly just yet, but it's just for me to get a get an idea of how the frame is. Nelson, just wrapping himself up in his his um, lead. But yeah, we've got the camper here. I was training in Oswestry on Thursday, road Friday. We're gonna ride today and ride tomorrow. So excited. Thanks to Dovey Bike Park for having me. Fun fact. So yesterday it was poor, it was really wet, horrible, grim day. So with the camper, because there's heating in the back, that's a radiator that all the way along. I can put my waterproofs in and they all should be dry again for today. The shoes were soaking, they're not quite dry. So we'll be putting a fresh set of 510s on today. Put the 510 jacket there yes it's mucky but it will be dry so probably run that again today so i've got a couple of things i need to do to the bike today because yesterday was just i was just trying the bike for the first time i did like 10 or 11 runs i had one crash so i ripped my grip the uh, berg tech bartender didn't come off as good as i would have liked so I'm going to change that, I've got that there, fresh one, um, and I've got this stem, which is two different lengths, so because the top tube on this bike is a little bit longer than the nuke proof I was riding, rip nuke proof, um, I'm going to put this back a little bit and see how that is today, and I'm going to give you a little walk through of my tool box. It's an Abbey Bike Tool box. Danny Hart. Like a special edition. They did me a good deal on this. One thing that does annoy me a little bit with it is that happens every time I open it. But yeah, it's perfect for what I need. I'm not very, not exactly that great on the tools, so just got all the essentials. So there's the first layer, the back, second layer is posh wearer allen keys that everybody has, nice chain whip, I think that's a neck hanger straightener that's been used never, it's got a torch, thing for the, I actually used this the other day for the first time ever, thing for the Shram, um, Shimano crank doodah. And then on the bottom, it's pretty basic. Got some zip ties, a Torx multi tool, a little um, compartment box there with just some essentials. Yeah, so yeah, that's my toolbox. Pretty cool. Cost me quite a lot of money, but it's got everything that I need. Don't end up carrying a big metal toolbox around. The one problem I have with this toolbox is there is no space for pressure gauge or shock pump. Something that I use every time I ride my bike. And it's something that I advise everybody watching to check the tyre pressures and their fork pressure every time they ride. Because they fluctuate with different temperatures and whatnot.
Right, so I've changed my grip, my grip, and I've put my stem from this back setting to the middle one. I didn't realise it had three, but I can't get it in the shortest one because of this is a little long. But that's going to be worth a try for today. Um, I need to square them up a little bit because this one is not quite through as much as this one. Um, but yeah. Happy days, excited to give that a try and see what I think. So when it comes to the bike, it is a large GT Fury I believe and uh, tyre wise, I've got a, the first time I've used this tyre actually, it's a Continental Argital on the front and then I'm actually using a crypto towel on the back. Um, the Argotel is a bit more of a, a winter muddy mud condition sort of tyre. Um, got the, the crud fender there because conditions can be quite treacherous this time of year, so pretty much that fender never comes off. We've got Sadie there. Give us a wave. <laughs> Nelson, Darcy. Sophia and the vessel. In fact, got a nice new helmet in here. We've got a blue dress, new for the upcoming season. The all clues in there from yesterday, ready to go again. And that's it. I'm going to get my gear on and get up there. I need to eat some breakfast first. So I'm just going to nip and see Barney, Bernard's mechanic from the Pivot Factory Racing team. He's got a lower rise bar that I'd be interested to try and it's actually a rental bar and um, we're actually going to be on rental this season so it's going to be good to try that. Barney's um, been kind enough to help me out here and um, yeah so just delay in the morning a little bit but we've got today and tomorrow so it's all good here we are pivot factory racing headquarters fair play to bernard credit where credit's due it's come up in the world so this is bernard's new um service course so the bike park's over here somewhere look at snow on the mountains over there sheep in the field probably catch Bernard in there trying to ride one of them one day but uh, yeah here we are this is Bernard's spot G'day very nice how you doing Danny? dreamy morning Barney what's happening? well come to collect some product from a man that's helping there that. Yeah, no, it's really smart, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's fantastic. quite cool. It's nice to have a proper workshop. Yeah. That box is so, nothing, but it was... Silverware, or paperware, silverware, yeah. depends what you want to call it. A couple of Bernard's bikes, a bit of money. couple of KTMs, CRF 100, or 125, new one. Like what's in the back of the camper. But yeah, this is Bernard's place. Sophia's car. Happy days, what have you got for me? I've got a rental 30mm rise bar and a 50mm stem for you. That should help me out for today to try it. 780, cut yeah. down to, Thank if you anyone cares. Much. Just picking up some fuel for the generator. Because the generator takes a lot of fuel. So I'll just took this one off. Seven quid to fill a little thing like that. Daylight robbery. Right. So, I'm at the top of fire in the booth. Have a warm up run. And see how it is. Going. Right. Did a couple of runs down here with Brayton yesterday. So, 
see if I can get the footage of him because it was interesting. Definitely had some traffic over the over the town. Let's go again. Undersized on this top section. Right, that's me back. Done five laps on fire in the booth. Um, it's good. It's muddy. It's it's wet, but yeah, it's good. It's a short track, so you can get laps in really quickly. Bike's uh, a bit mucky. I'm gonna try the new um, handlebar and stem now, just to see what it's like. To be quite honest with you, I couldn't tell much difference with the five mil shorter stem. So, and with the new bar and stem, I'm going to have to go back to 50mm because the stem doesn't have adjustment and it's actually a 35mm bar which I'm not really used to anymore neither but I just want to see if I can tell the difference in the bar height but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to I'll probably measure it now just so I can, so I can really check and see if I can see the difference Right, let's add my lunch, change my handlebars and stem to try this rental one. Uh, bolt check, pressure check, and we'll go again. Five more laps.
Right, it's four o'clock. No more runs after this one. What's that? No more runs after this one. And then Let's say that. chill time. Yeah. <laughs> Some flat on the trailer. Yeah boy. Niche. Niche. Yeah boy. Niche. Niche. Hooked up. Yeah boy! <coughs> we pulled a good bit. Right, that's it. We're all done. I think I got nine runs. I had one puncher. There's the wheel. And these tyres are typically super tight to change, but I uh, managed to get it done in good time. That's the vessel. And um, yeah, I've got a follow cam run from Dom, so I'll get that uploaded in this vlog. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So. There's the new frame, not the correct parts, but um, new frame, and I'm happy with it after a couple of days riding so far. And if you like the video, subscribe, comment, all that jazz, and uh, see you later.